Greetings, everybody. Welcome to the Collision Conference 2021, the virtual version. And welcome to our Trade Commissioner discussion on the Canadian Te Technology Accelerator Program for Automotive Technology in Germany and Silicon Valley. My name is Kurt DeVries, and I'm a Trade Commissioner based in Toronto, Ontario, and I cover automotive, specifically a lot of automotive technology. And I'm here today with my esteemed colleague, who's become an expert of late in automotive technology, Cliff Singleton from our consulate in Munich, Germany. Cliff, please say hello to the group. Thank you, Kurt. Hi, uh, yes, Cliff Singleton. I'm at the consulate in Munich and I do cover the automotive sector in Germany, but I also cover a good portion of the ICT sector. So it's a, it's a real honor to be able to address you at the Collision Conference and to address those Canadian deep tech startups and maybe looking at the automotive sector. So in the next few minutes, Kurt and I are going to describe the program. We're going to describe what the opportunities are in the German market, and maybe even uh, explain in a, in a halfway sensible way what we think auto tech is. So I'm gonna pass it back to Kurt first though, to give you an understanding of the overall Canadian Technology Accelerator Program, and then we'll get into the specifics of auto tech. Thank you, Cliff. At a high level, the Canadian Technology Accelerator Program is intensive, it's selective, it focuses on B2B matchmaking, it has a lot of market intelligence and strategic mentoring. The program is focused on supporting Canadian companies' acceleration by scaling in key global market hubs and markets, like Germany in this case. And here to talk more in detail about Germany, I'm gonna pass it off to Cliff again, because he is our trade commissioner on the ground in the market. So thanks, uh, thanks Kurt. So of course you do think about Germany when you think about the automotive sector, and you think about maybe the importance of the, of the industry to the German economy. And there, there is a recognition of German automotive engineering strengths as well a long history of developing the car, mastering the supply chain, and becoming really also masters of system integration into a fairly complex product. However, the industry is challenged by a lot of the digital changes going on in the world. They are actively looking for new solutions, digital-based solutions, or in-vehicle applications, of course, into the car, but also into the mobility environment and into the production environment and to a certain extent into the corporate environment itself. So way, the way the German industry has done this is that they've launched a series of tech scouting platforms. All of the German OEM groups have done this and a number of the tier one suppliers have also created uh, corporate venture capital divisions to, to attract the best of the best from around the world. So there is a growing understanding that Canada has something to offer. And we've been doing a lot in this area and having different cohorts approach the industry. So for example, we've been working with BMW Startup Garage. This is the venture client model, as they call it, uh, allowing startups to get a proof of concept involving remuneration uh, to show their technology to this important OEM. Daimler, the parent company of Mercedes-Benz, launched together with Plug and Play in Silicon Valley, uh, startup Altobahn. This is a separate program, but now also involving a number of key tier one suppliers in many areas of the supply industry. Volkswagen has the ideation lab. And so there are a number of programs out there and they're all attracted to finding the best startups from around the world to help them and solving some of the deep tech challenges that they have. So what are some of the, the areas of focus that the industry has? Well, of course, it is primarily ICT based digital solutions, but it also goes into material technologies, can go into production technologies as well, all in an advanced state. Uh, some examples of sensor technology systems, of course, going into autonomous driving, the electrification of the vehicle is an important issue. Uh, but like I said, some of it also goes into the production environment, AR, VR, 
AI going into the production environment, and even into the customer experience and financial area. So an extremely broad area of technology that's being pulled in by the, autom the German automotive industry. So that's the ma major uh, market demand here, but I'd like to pass it back on to Kurt to explain more about CTA Autotech and how we approach this. Well, thank you. Thank you. So the overview of the CTA program can really be divided into three areas, technology integration, mentoring, and funding. These are the three areas of support we offer our Canadian clients. Well, really what we try to do is position the clients to pitch their technologies to the different global OEMs, functional teams that are working on current problems and current projects. We provide strategic business contacts and market that have done this before with successful track records and experience that they can share with you to guide you on the German corporate journey. We arrange funding pitch sessions. Now this doesn't happen in Germany, this happens in Silicon Valley where there's a large interest in funding. Now to take a sneak peek at to what we actually have planned next year or this year, sorry, 2021 and 2022, uh, hopefully in personal form, but possibly in virtual form, we're focused on three markets, Germany, Japan, and Silicon Valley. In Germany, we expect to have seven to eight participating companies in the program, and we will be seeking paid proof of concepts with the three major OEMs, Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz, as well as tier ones. Now, with regards to Japan, we, are targeting five to six companies to seek paid proof of concept projects in a manner similar to Germany, selected according to the OEMs and tier one's priorities in market. And last but not least, Silicon Valley, we expect 15 to 25 companies, a very wide range of interests here that are seeking funding. Now, there may be opportunities for technical advancements, for discussions of proof of concepts as well, uh, but the focus will be funding on our end and companies will be selected according to their funding requirements and technical attributes. So to discuss or to finish this part of the, the sneak peek of the CTA, uh, Germany, Japan, Silicon Valley, and to talk more about the application for Germany. Cliff, would you mind sharing a little bit more about that? Sure. So we're, we anticipate they'll be able to, to launch the application phase on May 1st. We'll give companies six weeks time to, uh, to provide the applications in that time period. And then a selection will be made in, uh, in consultation with the German OEM groups. So they will be taking a look at the applications as well our program partners here locally for the mentorship program. And the decision is expected to be made by mid-July then when the cohort is announced. Starting in September, we will have onboarding conference calls. So Kurt and I will be speaking with you individually, the line what to expect of the program, how it will work, um, and how we will basically pull this off. And in the fall, we will start with the dedicated pitch sessions. So these are dedicated Canadian pitch sessions to all three German OEM groups, as Kurt mentioned. And we're, depending on the situation with the pandemic, we will either do this virtually or physically or a hybrid of the two. Ideally, we will do as many virtual pitches as possible and then get you back into get you into market or follow up calls with those companies that have taken, expressed an interest in your solution. At the same time, while you're in market or virtually in advance, we'll be doing the mentorship uh, program and workshops on understanding the German market. Switching to Silicon Valley, that's, this program is uh, was planned for February, March timeframe. And at that time, that will be the conclusion of the entire program. So we hope we've piqued some interest in the auto tech and the CTA program, but I'm sure you have plenty of questions. So we would ask you please to reach out to us. You have our email addresses, Kurt locally in, in Canada or me in Germany. 
We'll guide you through the process, be glad to respond to your questions, and then inform you when the application process is open on our website. So from my end, thanks for your attention. Uh, very much looking forward to getting some good applications from all of those deep tech startups uh, attending Collision. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again, thanks Cliff. Again. That, was, that was wonderful. Um, to preemptively answer a couple of questions before we close, uh, how can one apply? Uh, please contact me or Cliff. Uh, I would be happy to be your main point of contact. I run the program in Germany, Japan, and Silicon Valley with my colleagues. Uh, how can you attend all three if you are interested? It is possible, uh, but this these selections are done with input from the German OEMs as well as our partner in Germany. So the selection is often based on what the companies want to see. And this is a positive thing because if you join the program and invest the time and the resources, uh, there's a better chance of an ROI. And I encourage you to think out of the box. You might not be focused on auto tech, or maybe you have a friend or a colleague or another startup um, network member that you have that may not be focused on the sector, but if you think they have something that is interesting or unique that could be applicable, tell them to give us a call. We would be happy if they don't know to talk about what the sector is trending towards and what some of the developments are. And if you are ultimately selected, I encourage you to check your stamina levels because the program is very intensive. Uh, we are moving around the country, meeting different players at different offices. And uh, yeah, please bring your energy with you because it is a very, very, very busy program. So thank you so much for, for watching and, and listening to us. And feel free to reach out at kurt.devries at international.gc.ca to talk more about Autotech and the CTA. Thank you. Thank you.